So in this video, we are going to replace the heat pad for this KP3 Pro V2. So here we get a new uh, new heat pad from another KP3 Pro V2, and we are going to replace it. Um, so the reason you get a negative temperature on your KP3 Pro V2 is because of the damage of the thermistor the sensor on the heat pad. It's usually caused by a shipping issue. So all you need to do is turn off the printer and uh, remove all the uh, screws and uh, disconnect the fan. And you're going, then you can do the next step. Okay, let's turn the All right, let's take a look inside. So here, here is a heat pad cable, you can see. So we need, all we need to, all we need to do is to disconnect this, this port and then these two cables, these two cables. Then we can replace everything with heat pad. So we're not going to um, cut off the tips to release the, uh, the bad heat pad cable. Um, as these tips were used to arrange some cables. Now here is a disconnect this one, and we need to release these two cables. And here is all the same for the heat band. Okay, and here. Use these two screws and then um, you can take a photo to this uh, to the main board in case you forgot its connection. Um, and this one is negative, negative and positive. So uh, you can remove the whole heat band right now. So here we cut the zip tie and here is a here is another cable arrangement. And okay. Now you can take take this cable out. Okay. Okay, let's um, put it flat. Okay. It was a PI stick. Um, now you should do, you should remove the, is it here? You should remove the, you should remove the uh, magnetic sticker, or you can just cut, cut it like this. Um, we usually will send, we will send you a heat pad and a magnetic sticker, so you can just tear off the sticker and replace the heat pad. Then, um, re um, they can replace the whole heat pad. We need to tear with this thing. Um, here's this one. Um, we can try to heat up this heat bed before tearing it off. Uh, yeah, of course you have already removed everything. So we are now turning this heat sticker, and actually, actually, it's, it's, it is quite quite hard. We need we need to take take care of everything. Um, but it would be quite easier if you if you try if you cut if you cut heat bound like this. 
Um, yeah, you find the four holes, you're gonna cut them and you go and you are right. Okay. Alright, we just remove it. So remove the four screws here. Um, they were used to fix the heat lamp. And we also we also send you the oh no now you can take it off and actually we we will also send you a a cable holder like this you can just remove it. Remove, remove all the ones here. Um, you will need it later on the new heat bed. So here is it. You need this cable holder. And here is the old heat bed right here. See? See, we found a problem here. This one get off and causing the issue see so, the yellow cable here um, get off so we um, this one we have we already have a cable holder here so we we keep, we keep this one away and let's Let's install the heat pad right now. So first thing you need to find is the, the correct position before tighten everything here. And uh, here. Across the corners. Yeah, but put the PI sheet back. It's all right. Okay. Now, just turn it around and now, just to insert the cables through this cable arrangement. Here, let's go back later. Now you can start to install everything. Okay, you can. Okay, you can install the cable um, one by one or together. Um, all right.
Okay, so that's it. Mm. So, these two cable is now connected, connected wheel. Next is this one. It's yellow port. Okay, so that's it. Now, we use to use a tip to we use some tips to arrange these cables inside um, to avoid some issues. Here another one. Let's put put one here. Put one here. So the cable will not move outside. It will limit the cable's position in, in this place. Next here, we put these, these clippers, press it. Now everything is settled. You can put the button cover back. You will find a fan port here. And this one is for the bottom fan. And um, just connect it here this way uh, okay now you can put everything back um okay just install the bottom cover back Just to finish, to, we just finished replacing the heat bed. It is okay right now.